very good year it's been for the company with revenues increasing to 85.84 billion shillings. Run us through the year that was very briefly. Yeah, we are very, very excited with our results for the year ended March uh, 2011. Uh, we are particularly keen, particularly happy about the revenue numbers. For the first time in our history as an airline, we hit the $1 billion mark in revenue. We are also very pleased about the passenger numbers because we achieved another milestone because we hit the 3 million mark sometime in March 2011. So with those two uh, statistics, we are very, very pleased. That yielded the, the profitability numbers that you've spoken to about. And we back home here in Kenya are very excited. Well, of course, we are looking at the opening of new routes as well, and that a big part of the agenda to increase revenues even further moving forward. One would assume that you'd have to increase fleet capacity as well. So what are some of the plans in the pipeline in that regard, and what targets are we looking at in terms of growth of capacity? We are currently finalizing what we call our 10-year plan. Uh, that should be finalized in the next two, three months. In it, we are looking at the growth in our network plan in terms of the routes that you shall be going into. There's a big focus in Africa, as you know. We like to refer to ourselves as the pride of Africa. We'll also be growing, of course, into Europe and, and Middle East and Asia. And then the network plan then drives everything else. Once we are happy with the plan over the next 10 years, that informs the kind of equipment we need in terms of narrow bodies, wide bodies, and so on yeah. and so forth. And then that drives the, the financials. Uh, we obviously come up with an optimum uh, capital structure, which will determine the kind of financing that you shall require going forward. Let's take we a look at that, because that. This, uh, this entire plan sounds very promising, but it does sound expensive. So you know, what kind of cost uh, does the expansion come at you know, from what you're envisioning? And what the market really wants to know is uh, how you're actually going to be funding this expansion program moving forward. Are we looking at the possibility of a rights issue coming to the fore? I, I anticipated that question. Um, look, at the end of the day, uh, we have to finalize a 10-year plan. The 10-year plan will give us a string of uh, cash flows going forward. We'll have a 10-year balance sheet. In that balance sheet, we will determine using our financial advisors what is the optimal capital structure. That structure will inform what sort of financing we need. We anticipate that it will be a combination of debt to equity. But right now, because we haven't finalized the plan, I'm not in a position to tell you how much will be debt, how much will be equity. And if we go equity, at yeah. this stage, we do not know exactly whether it will be a rights issue, public offer. We are still playing around with the various scenarios. Once it is clear what it will be, then we'll come back to you. Uh, what about your dividend policy? Can we get any clarity in that regard about Divi policy moving forward? Uh, can the market anticipate that this will be gr uh, growing further with a return to profitability? Or are we looking at uh, maintenance at current levels? If we are to go back to the shareholders, for example, to raise capital, what a shareholder looks like, a current shareholder or prospective shareholder, is earnings per share. And that is driven, obviously, by the dividend streams going forward. Once we finalize our cash flows going forward, we will be sensitive to the return that a prospective uh, either existing or future shareholder will be looking into, particularly when we look to the equity market.